Hi everybody and welcome to my video about the astronomy projects going on. So in astronomy there is just a ton of stuff going on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because um we can't really like do the normal things that we do for the rest of the year when we're doing physical science where we can kind of like physically at least see or touch or you know feel, smell kind of stuff and everything like that because chemistry stuff is right here on earth it's kind of easier, physics the same way. With astronomy, it's a little bit different because stuff is way far away. So we can't like go on a field trip to Pluto. We can't like grab a sample of the sun and bring it into the room while well, we'd all die. So um, there are a lot of projects going on in this chapter. So that's what this video is about, just in case you have any questions. So the star observations, right? So um, there is a star observation sheet that needs to get signed. That star observation, literally you go outside, you try to find a couple different things in the night sky um, for this one. So this one's timely in the sense like you've got to get it done on a starry night. So I always recommend do it right away. If you wait till the end of the chapter and, you know, it's cloudy for the last week of the chapter, I'm going to tell you, well, sorry, you know, you didn't plan very well. So the first time that, you know, it's a starry night, please go out and do the star observations as soon as you can. Um, for moon phases, well, that's just, um, you know, those are just uh, things that we're going to study. So um, that one's not too bad. But the big thing is probably the build project, right? There's a build project for everybody to work on. And then there's a current events project, right? So there are two projects. The current events one is fairly short and simple. Um, it's just going to be a worksheet. It's kind of an oversized worksheet that you get. It has to be some current project going on in astronomy right now. So it could be something astronomers are actually doing and using right now, or it could be something they're planning on building in the future. Right. And so for that project, I mean, it's just a piece of paper. You're going to fill in like the name of it, where it's going on, when it's going on, um, you know, different facts about it. I think there's a diagram involved and stuff like that. So that's the current events research. Right. It's not really a project. It's kind of a really big um, worksheet and everything. But the actual build project. Right. The build project. That's probably the big one that we're going to be doing. Right, so that one's going to be some physical three-dimensional object that you're going to actually have um, that you're going to bring in the school and build, and it's going to be um, you know hanging up in the classroom. Now there are two um, two choices for what kind of project that you want to make or what you want your topic to be on for. It could either be anything naturally occurring out there in the universe that's got a name to it. So you can do like a planet, for example, but the planet's got to have a name, whether it's Mars or Mercury. Or even if you want to do a planet outside of our solar system, it might not have a fancy name like that, but it's going to have a name like, you know, a number or something like that, right? So it's got to be some name thing. You could do um, even the entire universe, just call it the universe, because there's only really one of those. Um, you could do an, a galaxy. So you could do the Milky Way or Andromeda or something like that. You could do um, dwarf planets, right? So you could do like Pluto or something like that. Um, or any other object, you know, you could do like Halley's Comet or Comet Halebop or something like that. Any naturally occurring thing out there in the universe. Or for the build project, you could do a historic um, project built by human beings, right? So, but it does have to be a historic one because remember, there's the current events project is the current event one. So for the historic, for the build project, you could do like a spacecraft like Apollo or Gemini or even the space shuttle. Those are all historic spacecraft. For space stations, you could do like one of the Mir space stations or even Skylab is one that America built back in the 70s. You could do an older satellite, like let's say Mir or something like that, right? But those are all older historic things um, for it, right? So those would be all things where you're going to build something um, and actually bring it into class and get points for it that way and everything. Whereas the current events project, that little uh, piece of paper you're going to fill in, that's where you could do something current, like you could do, um, you know, the Dragon capsule, or you could do the International Space Station, um, something current, or you could do one of the new telescopes that um, they're building or working on or things like that. Or there's actually going to be a Mars mission landing, um, I think, next month on Mars, where they're going to put a new rover driving around on it and everything. So all those would be current events projects, right? So that one's pretty straightforward. For the build project, let me give you a little bit more detail about that one. Now, in class or if you go into Schoology, there's a place where you can print out um, the build project rubric. But um, you need to have on the build project to get all the points. You need to have the definition for whatever your object is, right? Um, it should hang from the ceiling, right? So it should have some kind of hook or, you know, like even a paper clip attached to it so that you can hang it from the ceiling. 
and it should stay up for at least 24 hours so it doesn't fall down right away. So it should be built fairly sturdy. Um, the description of your item, it's got to have at least five facts. So you've got to look up at least five really good facts about your object and put them into the project. Visually, I always tell people the way that it looks, um, you know, it should look like you didn't build it or put it together on the bus ride that morning, you know, that you handed in. It should look like you spent a little bit of time, you know, putting a little bit of effort into this and everything. So, I mean, color is kind of hard because some things are gray in space, but it should look like, again, you kind of painted it, decorated it to look like whatever the object actually is. Um, you don't have to worry about conduct in class because we're not going to do that this year because it's a crazy year and everything. But um, let's see, probably the number one thing that people lose points on would be this guy right here, the facts, right? Those five facts and the definition, they should be somehow incorporated into the project. It should look like you spent, again, a little bit of time at least planning out what you're doing. So it should not, right? It shouldn't be you list like the definition and your five facts on a piece of paper and you like glue it right onto your project. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for somehow it's incorporated into the design of it. Um, the project needs to be three dimensional. So you might be a wonderful painter, but you gotta do something other than just paint on a piece of paper. Um, and the three dimensional should add to the way that the project is. So it's not like, oh, look, I glued three pieces of paper together. Now it's three dimensional. You know, it, it should actually be like how the object actually is and everything, right? And then you need to include the rubric that again, I'll hand out in class or you can print off of Schoology that gets handed in with your project. Okay, a couple examples about this, right? Here's one where somebody did Saturn, right? So they've got this lovely foam ball that they painted and everything actually did a pretty good job of what Saturn looks like. They've got some rings around it, but then for their facts, right? Their facts are kind of like incorporated into the ring, right? So, um, you know, that's, that's kind of a cool way to show the different facts about it. So I thought that one was great, right? Here's one of the space shuttle right here. Again, it's three dimensional. It's got like windows and stuff like that. It's got fins and wings and stuff and everything. And the five facts, if you actually like turned it around the other way, the facts were kind of like incorporated like they were um, like the tiles, um, you know, like the heat shield tiles and everything. So I thought that one was a wonderful project, right? But here's an example of one which you don't want to do. This was also supposed to be the space shuttle. And while, yes, they were like, oh, Mr. Jackson, it's 3D because I glued a couple pieces of cardboard together. It really doesn't have anything to do with the shape of the space shuttle. I mean, they could have at least put some wings or fins or, I mean, windows or something like that on there. And they did exactly what I've been telling everybody not to do, right? They literally put their definition and facts on a piece of paper and taped it right onto the side of the thing. Um, you know, the facts should be somehow incorporated into it. So it looks like you spent a little bit of time thinking about building this. So that one did not get very many points. Right. Um, how about this one? At first glance, this one looks fantastic. Like it's, a, you know, the sun, obviously, and everything. But again, like it literally to me looks like they just bought this thing at the store and then unfolded it. And that was all they did. Um, even if they painted the orange on it themselves, which I would argue they it looks like they actually didn't and everything. It looked like it came right from the store. Um, that probably took like a minute or less. Um, and then for the facts, again, all they did is they wrote all their facts on a piece of paper and tied it onto the bottom of the thing, which is what I'm telling you not to do. Now, the ironic thing is this could have been a fantastic project with just a tiny little bit of changes, right? If let's say they put some like solar prominences kind of coming out of it that they glued on and some solar flares shooting out of it, maybe that's where they put their facts on. It would have been a fantastic project, but it should just look like, I mean, this one, I would argue, it looks like they could have like, unwrapped it on the bus, tied the string on the top, tied these things that they looked up on their phone on the bus ride over, and that was the end of it. So this one did not get all of its points, right? Um, here's a great one though, right here. This one was Pluto. They've got kind of like a background starry field behind it. They've got Pluto that actually painted, so it looks pretty good like Pluto and everything. And then one cool thing about Pluto is it's got several moons that are not very much different in size from actually Pluto, and a lot of them are not actually round, which is where the weird shapes come here and everything. And then they just attach the different facts on, you know, the lines that were holding up, you know, the different moons around it. So that one was an excellent one. Here was another really good one. Here's an easy one that they did. This was Comet, I think, hale -Bop that they did. It's got, um, you know, they made a comet. They've got, you know, it all painted nice and everything. And then for the tail, they just painted some kind of cool flames for the tail of the comet. Right. And then they put the facts on there. So this one probably didn't take super long or was expensive to make or anything. 
but it was a great project, I thought. And then let's do one last one, right? This one I think was going to be Mars. They've got a foam ball that they actually did a fairly good job making it look like Mars and everything. But then for the facts, right? Again, they just have the facts on a piece of paper that is kind of like attached onto the side there. That's what I'm telling you not to do. The facts should be somehow incorporated into the design. So maybe if they had like, I don't know, like little sticks with flags on it, and that's where the facts were or something like that, that would have been great so that it, you, know, you get all the points. Right. Hopefully this helps out with all the things that are going on in astronomy. We'll also do the solar system map is another project that we're going to be doing where you get a really big long piece of paper and you have to draw like the planets to size and how far apart they are and everything. Um, so there's a lot of like stuff going on um, in astronomy. And I'm just hoping that this, um, you know, that this little video kind of helped you out with what was going on with all that. All right. If you have more questions, just let me know.